Hello boys and girls, my name is HotCC and welcome to another day in Minecraft and today is a bit of a different episode and no building but more planning. As you might have wondered uh, about the layout of our farms, we have some on this side, some on this side but nothing in the middle. And that's because here I want to place my storage system. But what storage system should I use? There are some things to consider. So I thought today we will have a look at uh, what I used in the past, um, what options there are uh, and, and some of the features. So let's get on the roll. Welcome to my storage system from my first season. Uh, this one features some chests over on this side where I store bulk items. So I store them in shulker boxes. Then next on that line further down, that are chests where single items are collected. And then over on this side with the uh, chests uh, further uh, based apart, there uh, we have mixed items. And you can see sometimes I uh, get huge amounts, so then I pack them into shulker boxes. Here in the middle, these are our overflow chests, anything that does not end up in any of the other chests. And as you might already have guessed, this is not a storage system alone but it's also a sorting system because uh, each chest uh, holds a specific type of items. Uh, and as the overflow chest uh, had uh, too many items, I then started this wall here where I pulled out certain blocks manually. So manual storage and sorting that's there's also a possibility and i think it did me fine here so we can also have a look up here uh, i mean the the, the basic uh, uh, sorting uh, is not that complicated it happens up here same here but i need the additional height uh, so I can have the uh, shulker box fillers in here and basically do not need the space here on that side. And if we look over there, uh, the way this uh, multi-sorting works is I just have a long row of sorters that sort singular items and then put everything together in one chest and we can get back in here and one drawback that I saw with this system is it's quite large so if I need some items from the last chest down here it's always a hassle to to running around as it i would say it's about 200 blocks in length so something more compact might be desirable and then there's also always the question here for for bulk storage um, that's what i set out but as you can see uh, we have certain categories that I have more of and uh, other categories which are basically empty. And one thing is 
all the farms in this world are not hooked up to this storage system so uh, they have their dedicated storage and that's probably something uh, that will be different where in in uh, the current series where we can hook up all the farms at least all the farms that are close by to the storage system welcome to my world for my german series and you are more than welcome to follow that one as well and here as you can see um, i am focusing a bit more on the aesthetics of uh, our bills as in in our own series uh, because here i'm not really limited to not mining but you can see similar concept like in my first series we have a, a storage system here however i decided to forego the uh, bulk storage have everything in here and should the need arise i can put them manually in shulker boxes here I do have two rows behind to store items, so I think uh, the amount of items that I can sort and store is quite a bit larger than in the last example we have seen. Then over on this side we have similar concept again and here you can see it a bit more clearly, uh, sorting goes along this way and then everything is collected in these chests down here but this is quite high and uh, purely from a technical perspective does not need to be that high but as mentioned this is an aesthetic world and uh, i need that height because uh, here on the side there will be an indoor roof uh, and so on so this brings me to a drawback of this system you can see quite a lot of hopper which means quite a lot of iron and wood went into that but it's also a bit laggy uh, together with the uh, uh, Colosseum for our villagers um, and this being a multiplayer server not the best thing to do so probably uh, I would do things differently to uh, come up with uh, a solution that's uh, a bit more efficient in in terms of lag and that brings us to our options that we can consider so let's hop on uh, redstone world and here we are with our first contraption which is a shulker uh, display system or shulker filler display system this shulker box here that's the one filled and uh, once it is full it gets broken uh, the full shulker boxes are stored in here and then we have one full or initially full shulker box down here and uh, from here we can easily access all three uh, boxes and the input i believe comes in here this is a thing presented by cubic meter links to his video in the description and uh, I think if I want to have bulk storage it 
would be nice to have something like this but probably the, the difficult system is to figure out how to combine this with uh, other concepts um, as we will see. Now here we have a multi-item sorter by Lumi Thief and what this does is it stores multiple item types in a chest and the way this works is it does not use water streams or hoppers to move the items around but hopper minecart and back here somewhere we have a chest that actually defines what items can be stored, uh, sorted in here, not stored, uh, and this works uh, that way that the hopper minecart can exactly pick out one item and only that an item that is already in the minecart. So it picks uh, the item out of here and this basically indicates in which slice the item has to be sorted in. Then the hopper gets destroyed and basically all the items uh, go in that slice. And in the end the single item is placed back in here. So that's that's the simple story of thing, uh, but as you can see, it's quite a large contraption. The nice thing with this is that it can do parallel sorting. So that means at one time multiple minecarts can run through the system. But this of course only works if we are sorting items that go into different uh, chests because in the end when we sort or when we store items in chests we are still limited by hopper speed. And uh, that's the, the limiting factor. Um, what I also don't quite like here is that each storage slice is too wide, uh, which takes quite a bit of, uh, of space. Um, and I am not sure if we need parallel sorting um, because uh, when we are running a farm, we probably will get a lot of items of the same type and their par parallelism does not help us. The final design is from Mitsuma Games and what I like about this, it's quite compact. It's a bit smaller than the one over there. So this operates on the on the same on the same mechanics. It uses hopper minecarts and the uh, filtering system to filter multiple items in one chest, and uh, thereby it's not that uh, different than what we have seen over there. However. This one does not support parallelism. Uh, the way this works is minecart goes around, finds the slice it has to put in the items, uh, locks all the hoppers that are not in that slice, and then basically here the minecart is unloaded. And that means uh, we have to wait until the minecart is unloaded before the next one can go on its journey. There is a slightly improved version over here, 
where all this happens a bit faster. However, I have not yet fully understood how this works. And you can also see some of the features that we have there, uh, mainly all these two slices here on the side, or the three slices, uh, they are missing here. So I would have to add them here as well once I understood uh, how this works. But uh, from what I understand, through to the, the curved rails, the minecart travels faster. And that's probably the, the biggest difference that we have here. Uh, and oh, we do not seem to have this, uh, this connection here diagonally. Uh, so maybe there is something that we have uh, these three sides separately somehow. Um, Isuma has not yet uh, found the time to come up with a more in, in detail video about this one, uh, just a, a showcase video. But I think uh, that looks quite promising. And by the amount of chests that we have here, uh, we should have enough storage and it's easily accessible all in close range so that negates uh, the drawbacks that i had in the storage systems in my uh, past two worlds so i want something that is compact uh, all that i basically need to figure out is which version do i want to to build and then how do I deal with uh, bulk items? I could, for example, just uh, sort them out manually out of the chests and put them in uh, in a in a shulker box down here. But what if the shulker box is then full? Um, maybe that needs some thought because i would really like to have this also automated we'll see what i can come up with but that's it for this episode it's something different uh, i would be very interested in hearing your thoughts about how you store item how you store, uh, sort item uh, what you think would be the best uh, 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 choice for me? Uh, please leave comments down uh, below and I will see you soon. Goodbye.